Hi, welcome to my 100% playthrough of Fire Emblem Fates DLC Chapter Beach Brawl with Team Leo. Yeah, I'm not going to read out the text again. I already read it when I did it with Camilla. So we'll go watch that if you want to see the actual introduction. I'm just going to head straight to Leo. So he's underneath Camilla. Uh. What a colossal waste of time. Fighting for a ticket that I won't even use? How stupid. I don't even care what anyone says. We're leaving. What? What? Lord Leo, we cannot retreat. This is the most crucial battle of your life. You must reach this fable isle. To stand here, on the shady border between the land and sea, the blaze and bliss and dawn to dusk, skin blasts and oil, to gaze at day's end over eternal blue and hope's drowns, to see rise next morn, refreshed in death. My lord Leo. My lord Leo, you should go. I know you want to. What? What? I do not. Oh, please. Oh, please. I can't stand here, didn't I? There's stuff like this. We're fighting, and if you're gonna win, they're gonna get a tan. Even if Odin and I to slather you in suntan lotion ourselves. We stand together! We stand together! You will go on this island and I and return a bronze god. Okay. <coughs> Fine. I'll go. Just get away from me too. Great. Now I'm going into battle irritated. You better cover me. <laughs> I got your back, Lord Leo, and your front and sides in parallel dimensions. As you wish. As you wish. We want to get you into paradise in one piece. Alright, since we're Lord Leo, we start off in the marsh area. Because you don't start off up here like the Team Camilla, it's just it's just wherever they are placed in this map, that's where you start them. And also, at the moment, what I'm trying to show is that this is how I'm going to work. I'm going to work all the way up here. I'm going to work clockwise. After I... Oh, I'm going to do Hinoka's team. Then do one of these two afterwards, and then finish off with a lease. So I started off with a lease with Team Camilla, and I'm going to finish it with a lease once I... Do Team Leo. So yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that units up north are probably some of the strongest units on this map to be honest. I haven't fact checked that but I'm not bothered to either. I'm just going off from that experience because some can land critical hits and others can't. Depending on your luck and their stats and whatnot. But yeah. So I'm going to get Odin to stand over here so Selena will try and attack him and have Niles behind him, the Hunter's bow. Unfortunately, since they, um, Hinoka and Selena teamed up, um, I can't deal bonus damage to Selena. What's going to happen is, I think Camille's going to fly over, but they're not going to switch. No, I think they are going to switch, but then what's going to happen is that, yeah, as you see at the bottom left, no way, you're, go you're going to win. That ticket is ours. No one turns heads to that on the island like. No one will turn heads on that island like our lady Camilla. That beach will be our battlefield. She will reign victorious. Now, get ready to lose. As I was trying to say, um, Odin deals 20 damage, and last could have hit apparently. But Niles, on the other hand, cannot attack. The attack will always be blocked. Camilla will always block that attack because. She's supporting um Selena. This stinks. Why do I have to lose to the like I do have to lose to a jerk like you? I was gonna say lose to like you because I closed my eyes and I thought that's what she was saying. I was reading that for some reason. Don't ask me why, but I just sort of slowly closed my eyes for some reason. Right, so I think Mel has better resistance, but I wanna check with speed thunder. And spare speed, so I might as well just do this. Take Baruch out with Speed Thunder. Well, I managed to get a ticket for Lady Camilla, so I will not fail. I'll handle this miscreant! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay back! I guess I'm not the best for this kind of mission. Also, I just want to point out something. You see Camilla over here? Yeah, she attacked us a straight up frying pan. I know the icon's an axe, but look. I know there's an item I had with her, but I just want to point that out now, because I'm starting to notice that all these items are really ridiculous. I'm going to point that out now, because they're kind of funny, to be honest. So Camilla attacks with a frying pan. You're so, you are so cute. cute. Putting up a fight, such, putting up such a good fight over, over, the, over all this. Normally I never, 
I never got a trip without my dead jobby James. But Artanus begged and begged and begged. So they really want me to go. And who am I to deny them? Stand your toes. Niles over here, I've got to mention, attacks with a bow that looks like a violin. <laughs> what a pity, but then again, I really didn't go without him. <coughs> and go up north here. And I think I'm going to pair up, to be honest. I think that's the best solution for Team Zander. Like, done it, I'm in the desert. Done it, it's taking too long. The stats are going back to normal, which is not good because they are virtually indestructible. I say virtually indestructible because the stats are very high unless they're lowered with the Dragon Bane. That's the reason why they give you those Dragon Bane's and I've been using them. Because Team Camilla could have easily destroyed Team Leo with ease, by the way. If it weren't for that, trust me. They'll just gang up on the team and that's not good. What I'm going to try and do is hopefully get Odin to pair up with Niles. I want to see how much damage they deal. The team as is. No, they can't reach it still. Hmm, that's annoying. Can they seriously not reach that? That's just pain. They can't reach it. Oh well. I'm gonna use this dragon vein over here. Since it's out of harm's way, which is good. And who can reach those, that team down there? Perry can't, which is good. But Sander and Laszlo can, which is not good. So I'm gonna switch those two. Since Odin can attack up close. Yeah, with male violent text. So that's much better. Hit? Not hit. That's uh, worse hit, but better damage output. Much better damage output, by the way. We meet again. And I'm gonna re not gonna read it. Are you at Team Camilla? I'm not gonna read it again. And by the way, Camilla's line is probably the last one I'm gonna read in this chat, by the way. It's just because she doesn't say them when you play as so her. That's the reason why I'm insisting on doing that. I'm gonna switch to Odin. And use the Hunter's Bone Perry, but first, I want to take out these two somehow. Hit is 22, hit is 21. Hit is 20, so. I need to take down Zander somehow. I think with the Speed Thunder, I'm going to use the Speed Thunder. Yeah, that should work. Mm. Yeah, it's more reliable. And also, they're paired up as well, so they can deal more damage due to support bonuses. I also want to mention that they two have umbrellas. So does Leo. <laughs> yeah, they just attack with straight umbrellas. You know that thing to block out the rain? Yeah, that's what they attack with. It's now a weapon in this game. They weaponize this a thing that <laughs> they probably should be using to block out the rain and not get drenched in it. And I'm gonna use the... Attack is 21. So attack is 21. Attack is 20. I think I should use it on Laszlo. So yeah. Right, sorry about that. I was paying attention. I thought I was going to play out the aura. But I forgot that the, he still has something to say. Mm -hmm. Right, so Perry's going to attack, but who? I don't know. Let's find out. Sorry, there's, there's sunlight on my 3DS. It's a bit of a pain. Mm -hmm. When I was recording this, I was hoping it was going to be grey and cloudy and miserable. Just for the irony of it being all nice in this game, but in real life it's like boring. No, it's starting to become sunny now. It's a bit of a pain. So it's very hard to see the screen. Right, so I'm gonna switch to Niles and use the Hunter's Bow. I know I can see it in OBS, but it's a bit jarring doing that to be honest. That's the reason why I'm not doing it. But that doesn't matter because. Team Zander's now down, which is good. So now I need to head to Ryoma first. Before I do anyone else. Or continue with anyone else. 
I'm going to use Concoction Odin. And Odin will hopefully try and stand somewhere closer to Saizo, who attacks with a piece of stale bread, by the way. Forgot to mention that. I know I'm only just picking this up now, but I really want to reiterate that because I'm starting to find it ridiculous with these weapons. They're just like everyday household items. And I just find that hilarious, particularly nowadays, because, well, just now, because. I bet you could. Now, just imagine this you could slice a piece of wholemeal bread and throw it like a frisbee. <laughs> oh, I've done it. The only thing is that shield's now decreasing. I forgot to mention that. After a while, the shield decreases, which is bad. So I think it's best to split up. Since that shield's also going to keep decreasing. Wish it wasn't like that, but it is, annoyingly. Alright, separate. Now I've got the Hunter's Ball, which I think has better hit, which is good. So I'm going to split these two up and weaken everyone. Because Saizo can easily just destroy um, one of those two, along with his teammates, which is annoying. So yeah, that's a bit of a pain. For the Lord be all. Let me get a taste. Yeah, it's poison sting, which is not good. And Realm is getting close, which is not good as well, so Betty's I think I should use the Speed Thunder. But I also want to take out... I'm going to use the Violin Bow and Sizer. Hopefully both attacks will hit. If they don't, then I'm going to have to think of something else. And boom, he's dead. I actually like the fact that the characters show off like that. Because that's a good indication that means they're going to hit. Alright. Uh, don't need all of this. Don't need that, it's useless. Again, I don't like using stuff that like triggers like rally, whatever, I don't care. So I don't find them particularly useful, to be honest. Alright, so Ember deals quite a lot of damage. To be honest. Probably because of his very low resistance. So does the male violent text, but that has lower hit. Don't think it's worth going for the risk because the um, damage dealt of the hit or attack performed by Leo has very low hit, which is bad. See, I knew that wasn't worth it. I just want to do this, to be honest. Attack him with the umbrella. <laughs> Don't want to be out of umbrella. Not to, like, block out the rain or anything. Oh, wow, advantage. Astra, but deal stealer damage. Big deal. As I was saying, <laughs> he's just gonna kill with an umbrella. Just murder a man, just a thing that's used to <laughs> block out the rain. Mm hmm. Yeah, any drop, that's useful, so I'm gonna replace it with a shell horn, which just triggers rally defense. Alright, I wonder what Kajiro's gonna hit or attack. I'm gonna attack Leo. Mm hmm. With the hairpin. That's probably her hairpin. The thing that she uses to tie her hair with or whatever. I don't care. And there we go. The critical hit ember. Those male violent techs are going to be useful, but I didn't use that because I wasn't anticipating that was going to happen. Oh, I might as well use it now to make up for that. I'll do what no one else can. Concentrate! Oh, I've done it. That's not good. Oh, I should probably use the violin bow. So that has weapon advantage over shurikens. That's my fault for not remembering that. Mm -hmm. Um, might as well replace the one I already have. Right, trade for concoction. Yeah, for that. 
my only defense for not knowing that is that it's not really used in any other game. That sort of triangle for the shuriken melee weapon, I th think that's what it was. And bow, but I'm not too sure. They keep changing in every game, game annoyingly. And even in the games themselves, they change how they work. Like, sometimes they have it, other times they don't. Anyway. So 18 is defense for Leo. 16, so 18. 16. 13, so... 18, 16, 13. So he needs the Draco Shield. Trade. Cosmic Draco Shield. Yes, please. And I think now it's gonna have the heart for some reason. Don't know why I have that to be honest. I'm not gonna ditch it now, I remember. Yeah, and use the Azura Self. Right, next stop is Hinoka. Because she can move here, next to Dragonbane, which is good. So I'm going to get one of these two to pair up with her, because she's paired up as well. I don't know who should be the lucky one to do it. Do it. I think Odin. Yeah, I think Odin should do it, because he gives him more mag, and equip the Speed Thunder, and use the Dragonbane. Right, so hopefully Hinoko will fly over, and maybe switch to Setsuna, let's see. Yeah, switch to Setsuna. Which I find interesting. Mm -hmm. Deals want damage, nice. And... Yeah, finish off with the umbrella. Just throw an umbrella at her. Just to get my revenge. <laughs> Just for revenge. There we go. Probably should have done that, but oh well, I don't care. So that means Niles can't exactly pair up with Leo, but oh well. I don't care. Yeah, Wayne Festival on the heals 5 HP, sorry. It is a 10, but that's not correct, it's actually 5. So mm -hmm. Also, since that shield gauge is full up now, this attack won't hit. It'll get blocked. Just like that. So that's good. Right, so I'm gonna take out... Now I'm gonna get Niles to try and take out... Zama down there. So he doesn't have a ranged weapon, by the way. He only has the Raider Naginata. And he doesn't move either. And get Odin to try and take out... No, I think we should do it. With the Umbrella. Just, just whack over the Umbrella, I don't care. Mm-hmm. We've got the Speed Wing, which is... Useful. Oh, all these are useful. That's very bad. I was paying attention. Oh, energy drop, so it's 16. No, I'm not going to use the energy drop. Sorry about that. I probably should used it before, but that's just my fault. I have no one to blame other than myself, to be honest. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm just going to try and take him out with the violin bow. Yeah, there we go. That should work out. You are in good hands. Go ahead, stay back. Mm -hmm. Oh, not missed. That's a shame. I was hoping it wouldn't miss, because then he would be dead. Don't it? Oh, well, might as well kill him with the umbrella. Might as well. 
<laughs> oh no, I can't, done it. Oh, I might as well just speed thunder instead. Hopefully. Okay, good. The fact that Leonard crit means it will be a gra guaranteed hit, which is good. Because I don't want that Raiden Agnath to touching, touching Leo, because that strips him of his clothes. There's a good chance it will, but not guaranteed, fortunately. But I just point that out. I don't know what the significance of that is, other than the cosmetic change, which because this game's creepy like that. I've probably said this before, but I might have not, but I'm going to say it again, I don't care. It's probably one of the like least child-friendly games that Nintendo's ever done, to be honest, which says a lot. So in fact, most people associate Nintendo making like really happy, you know, like mostly child-friendly stuff. I guess Zelda has gotten quite edgy, but it's not gotten to this. Trust me. I also forgot to mention Abora is very strong, partly because she has no en enmity, which deals plus three damage to ignoring enemies. So that attack is probably like I don't know, 38 instead of 35. Don't know if it adds that up. I don't think it does. That doesn't make sense, but just want to point that out there. I'm also going to pair up. So that's plus three resistance. They both give plus three resistance, but Leo has better speed, which is better. What about luck? Nah. I'm going to use this because that means hopefully it'll be more effective at evading attacks with better speed. And more likely to follow up as well, which is even better. And I'm probably going to use the speed wing next turn as well. Probably should use that beforehand, but I don't care. Done it, that dealt damage. Yeah, speed wing. I'll wait out my turn. Oh no, that's not good. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, I should heal him up with the... Not the harp. Azura Salve, I don't have that annoyingly. Alright, so I should probably get moving now. So that's, that's going to start... Growing again, which is not good. Like, the stat altering effects will wear off, which is bad. Very bad, by the way. Mm -hmm. Since I'm paired up, hopefully... Odds would be more in my favour because of the fact that... Oh yeah, and the fact that... I used that... Dragon Bane because... That means that that attack that... Zakura performed... Will be completely negated. And this attack that... Hana will perform will be completely negated as well. And also more... Leo's more likely to perform follow-up attacks which is good. Right, we're going to take down Subaki with Ember from Odin. Nice. Yes, I wasn't perfect after all. This is actually very intense, to be honest. Not might not seem that way, but I'm actually very, very stressed right now. This could turn south very quickly. Trust me. Even at the moment, it's. Odds are not in my favour. Or might not be, if I'm not careful. Or well, the odds might turn against me, I'm sorry. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Advantage, so what? Gets blocked by the ore. Nice, that hit. That was 66% by the way, so that was very close to coin flip. So that was a risk that was definitely worth taking. To be honest. Ha! I'm gonna check out yeah, Sakura with the speed thunder, because she did not use silence on Leo, fortunately. Oh, yeah, why not indeed? And use Ember on her as well. Oh no, I can't use Ember. He <laughs> <You> got silenced. <laughs> that means he can't use magic. And she still has this news in silence on him. Oh no, it didn't work. It missed. He evaded the attack. So, I don't want to get hit by the Yumi, but I will... Try and weaken her. 
with the male... No, I'm going to try and get with the male, male violent text, because she deserves that behaviour. No, it's not male violence, it's male violent. Malevolent, sorry. I keep reading as male violent. I think it's because of the fact that... Um... Malvolent, there we go. Malvolent. I don't know why I keep reading as male violent. I think it might be because of something else. I think I must read it as... Oh, but it's not how it's pronounced, I just realised that now. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> male violent. I mean, they are males and they are pretty violent, so that's <laughs> my defense. I've been misreading that for like, I don't know for how long. Right. Jokes aside, a borrow is pretty lethal, to say the least. So, what I'm gonna do is use the spirit dust on Leo, trade, and give him the seraph robe so he has better HP. And I think there should be... No, I don't have a goddess icon. I also think I have a goddess icon, but I don't think I have. Which is a bit of a shame, because she has... I guess, kind of good... Um... Crit chance, which is bad. I think I'm saying that because one time I actually got hit by a crit from her, which is not good. Right, so what I want to do is... I want to see this, the pair-up stacks, but it doesn't say... Right, so pair up six, three, okay. That's from the scroll, sorry about that. Also, by the way, they don't stack the stat altering effects, so I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna separate. I just wanna see what they are. Properly looked into it, I just wanna check. So mag is six, luck is one, okay. So mag is much higher if I do that, so that's good. Right, so I'm gonna use this now. And just get Niles to ambush. Look at that magic stat. The 30 dang dude. So that means it has a hit of um, attack of 40 dang dude. He's gonna be a powerhouse, watch this. Sixty-nine percent, nice. No way. So I couldn't help myself. I had to point that out. It's like one of those funny like numbers you see, and you just think to yourself, "Dude, I can't help myself." It's things you must do. Don't question it. I still can't get over that fact, misread that as male violent text, I'm sorry about that. I know that's not how it's pronounced, but it's just the fact that I find that ridiculous now. Even that in itself is about as ridiculous as the weapons that they use with the sky, eh? Using vegetables as a weapon. He's just got a pair of radishes. And yet he just whacks them as opponents. Alright, so annoyingly, I think... Yeah, he's got a Spellbane Yumi, which is bad. Which means he deals bonus damage, we've got Speed Thunder. But with the Umbrella, Leo fares fine against him. So what I'm going to do is use the Concoction, hope that the shield does not decrease, because that does happen. But I don't know when it does, like how long it takes, but... Oh well. I guess that can happen. Okay, it's happening now. So it's good opportunity to use this Speed Thunder, cause, Well, it's not like it's going to miss, but... I act like it is, but it's not. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's not going to miss, and it's going to kill him, watch. Nice job, Leo. Alright, so there's only Elise left, so that's great. Making very good progress. And the Dragon Veins here, but the annoying thing is that that's a Fire Orb, which means she'll just use that. So sort of like the Ballista but for magic users. So yeah. Still can't get over that male violent text. I don't know why I got that. I think... I don't know. I think it might be from like... you mispronouncing... like... Male Storm or something when I was younger? I'm not too sure. But that's what it was. Misreading that or something. Maybe that's the reason why I thought that. I must be thinking of that. 
that doesn't matter because I'm going to use this. If I want to use the secret book first before I do anything. So Leo's very powerful when he's like this. And not yet. I'm not going to use the harp yet. It feels kind of appropriate to use it when I get closer. So he's more likely to evade attacks and more likely to perform fault up attacks, but chances are very high, he's capable of doing it regardless, so I don't know what's wrong with me. No damage, nice job. Alright, so Arthur can go that way. Markiplier, sorry. That's what I like to call him. He looks like him. He looks like one of those like Markiplier edits you see on the internet where they like switch out like <laughs> Mr. Incredible's face. I probably said that before, but with Camilla, of course, but I want to play that again, because that's the reason why I like calling him that. He looks just like it. I'm not joking either. I hope someone has done that with his face, because it's very appropriate, to be honest. Just like Photoshop Markiplier's face onto him. Or like, what was his name again? From Mega Man? I think it was uh, Metro Man, I think his name was? From the Mega Man movie. The guy who's meant to be like Superman, like a parody. I think that was his name. He was like really muscular and had like white clothes. I've seen that as well, but not of Arthur, sadly. Alright, uh, might as well use Speed Thunder and Effie as well. It's not like she stands a chance either, or. By the way, she's got a stick, just saying. Zero self. I don't think I really need that anymore. I've literally got one more unit to go. And of course I'm going to use the umbrella. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to use the umbrella. <laughs> yes, if I'm, this is a farm party, alright? It's going to get hit by an umbrella at least. <laughs> uh, so ridiculous, these weapons. I'm surprised they don't like whack their opponents with like a balloon or like some sword made of foam. I don't know what I'm thinking about. So I feel with how ridiculous these weapons are, you might as well just use that. Like, it's a sword, but it's made out of foam. Like the blade parts made out of foam. <laughs> All right. Oh, I lost. Oh well, at least it, someone will be able to go. I just felt like reading that, to be honest. So I finished. Um, oh well. There we go, 50 turns. Record pace. Well, we won. How awful. <laughs> the ticket is yours, Lord Leo. And now, let your spirit be reforged in the scourging furnace of paradise. Scorching furnace of paradise. My Lord Leo. My Lord Leo, promise you. Right, <laughs> you'll. <laughs> promise me you'll be wiring every last drop of pleasure in this trip. Ugh, uh, you monsters! I'll never in my life have ever wanted something less. Fine, I surrender. I'll go. Don't get into any weird trouble while I'm gone, or I'll have your heads. <sighs> that look of disgust in Lord Leo's face as he left. So exquisite, but his delight was, has nearly worn off since the days he's been gone. I can only picture the torments he's endured on that island. Witnessing all those fine forms tanned to perfection on the beach. The salty sea, running the rivulet. Rivulet. Rivulet, I think it's pronounced. One merges from the waves. Sand clinging. Clinging. Sand clinging to everyone, everywhere. Oh, yes, and then. <sighs> Stop right there, villain! Not another word! What's, What's this? this? An eavesdropper? How long have you been lingering at my eaves, Odin? Not too long. Niles, now I need to plug my ears with beeswax. Am I merely trying to envision the danger Lord Leo's in? The sun, at sun alone, so hot. I've heard that it may risk a risk of a burn. Oh really? All you say is so strange. I can't always make sense of you. Anyway, I've come to deliver news of parchment newly arrived, arrived in paradise. It was born in the hands of a maiden whose locks were a lick of fire. Alone in her quest of correspondence, she made her way here and... Oh, oh please. please, out with it! <laughs> fine, fine, got a letter from Lord Leo. A merchant named Anna came all this way to deliver it to us. Uh, Why couldn't you just say so? 
and your slander the way I speak. Pot kettle black. What? What? I just state the facts. You straight as merc bongers. Mongers. Anyway, Liz Anna says that there's a picture inside Lord Leo. Uh. Intriguing. Open the envelope. Yes. Yes. Let us commence the opening envelope. I command you to reveal your truth. Revealing, yes. More than any I could have hoped. No! Our Lord is in torment! The sweat drips on his face. He slakes desperate thirst. He cloaks himself against the longing gaze of others. What's What's this? this? Your words, Odin? Like a page torn out of my book? Do tell. Ah, we're on the same page. No, no but I will admit. Did I foretell Lord Leo's agony? You, a prophet? Don't be silly. I just know him better than you. I've served him a long time. He's had difficulties with having fun. What? what? How could I not know that? I bow your skills, sir. I've served Lord Leo for only a sliver of hair's breadth of eternity. Mm hmm? Odin? Okay. Oh, okay, not for very long. Happy? Anyway, turn to pr <laughs> predictive power on the letter. What? What's in it? As you, wish. As you wish. I think I know what he'd do on vacation. Huh. Oh, let's hear it. Uh, well, he wouldn't go in water. He hates tanning. He probably stopped going out during the day. He leaves his bungalow only at night. Whoa! whoa. whoa that is when he writes. That's just what he writes. <coughs> right down in the bungalow. <laughs> Can you tell me what he's drinking in the picture? Yes. yes. At least I can guess. Freshly squeezed tomato juice. He does love a ripe tomato. <sighs> right again, chilling Niles. You know our lord too well. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. What else does he write about? Tasks for us while he's away? No. No. Just some thanks. Huh? Thanking us? Yes. yes! He says the art is not as bad as he thought. And he says it hasn't been an absolute waste of time. In closing, he writes, Thanks. How surprising. Even for me, I never ha oh, ha have to remember this. Our Lord has a secret love for beaches, if only by night. I see I all! See all. But I never saw that coming. Still, I don't forget he sent us a brief thanks to both of us. <laughs> oh, I promise you, you'll, I'll never forget that. The now the darkness whispers. It hints that we must prepare for his return. We must throw wreaths at his feet, his brows from head to toe. We must celebrate our Lord's great victory over vacation. Even he brings us no souvenirs. I don't know about you, but that golden destroyer has to calm down just a bit because he's just going on vacation, trying, you know, get out while it's still nice, bright, and sunny. Which is funny because it was sunny during my recording, which is a pain. And the sun got on the 3DS screen. But now it's gone grey and cloudy again, which is hoping to happen <laughs> because of the irony. And also I still can't get over the fact that I mispronounced um, malevolent text as male violent text. <laughs> it's malevolent text, I'm pretty sure. But I that as an O. I must have been misreading the violent as violent. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, but oh well. At least I picked up on it, so it wasn't just like a total embarrassment where I didn't notice. Until like a month later, and then like the video gets uploaded, and it's just like, oh dear, I mispronounced a bunch of things. <laughs> Probably mispronounced a few more things. I'm not used to those words, to be honest. They're like fancy words. That doesn't matter because that was Beach Bros Team Leo. Next time, I'll of course do Xander and Lee. I've not done them yet, so that's half of Nord done. So I guess see you then.